In this video, I explain the rule food predict for the CYK parsing for three adjoining grammars. The food predict rule is a little bit similar to the scan rules because we can apply it even without any previous items in the chart. The site condition says the tree we want to apply this to must be element of the auxiliary trees. In this case, the only tree in this example where this applies to is a tree better. It also says the, no, the node where we that apply to must be a food node in better. And also we have some indices where one indice must be smaller or equal than the other. Now, if we have any food node in any tree, we are at this point, we don't know where the we don't know the span of the food node, so we have to guess every possible sp span. So we have to guess. In this case, the input string has, has a length of four, so I will have to. I would have to guess, for well, instance, from zero to zero, from zero to one, from zero to three and to four, and also from four to four, and from, I don't know, from two to four. And so I would need to guess every possible food node that's, that makes sense in the length of the input string. But in this case, we are asked to only write down the successful items, which also saves me a lot of time. So I don't need to write them down. So I have a look at the tree that's supposed to stand there at the end. And I have those better tree for one, for instance, here. And as you can see, this in this part of the tree, the food node, the previous food node has a span from two to three. So I will add one item for that in a readable color. One item where the tree is better. Here it is uh, uh, the gone address of the food node. In this case, here it's the it's the second daughter of the root node. So it's two and at the top position. And we, I write the span. It's from two to three, and we need uh, to write them down to two. Three, three. Well, this will, will make a little bit more sense in the ongoing parsing process, but um, these the outer letters are supposed to be the span of the whole tree or of the whole item at the end. And the two um, numbers in the middle are the span of the food node of the whole tree. So you will see in the next few videos how this might change or how this will make sense. But then here we have an we have in this parsing tree in this tree we have used the auxiliary tree once more and that is here. And as you can see below the span there is the A and the C. So the span for this for this upper tree now goes from one to three. So I need to add for the successful parsing, I need to add another item, this auxiliary tree once more with the same position. But now, where the span is from 1 to 3, and that was the application of the rule once more, and that was the... Uh, that was the... Uh, um, that was the definition of the food predict rule.